CBS News senior national security analyst Fran Townsend worked with Nielsen in the George W. Bush administration. Townsend was the president's homeland security and counterterrorism advisor. Fran, good morning. Good morning, John. Fran, uh, uh, here's what I'm trying to figure out. How much of this was Nielsen's issue and how much of it is the fact that the president is in a system of separated powers where Congress has to do the work that he wants done? Well, you make the point, John. I think she was doing what she thought was the limit of what she could do, right? And she has repeatedly said, and it's true, you know, Congress does need to act. If they don't like the policy of the administration, some of this can be be blunted if they would simply update the law, allowing children to be returned to their, their country of origin, just like we do with Mexico and Canada, for example, and sort of not have the, the problem of family separations. Fran let, me, Fran, let me ask you, I mean, as John was saying, the president called Nielsen on Sunday morning and said essentially, shut down the border, shut it down to all migrants, shut it down to people seeking asylum. The secretary apparently has repeatedly told the president, sir, some of that stuff is illegal. I just can't do that. What is going to change in terms of immigration? Will anything change with this firing? Well, certainly, certainly we don't expect McAleenan or any secretary to be breaking the law. And if the president doesn't like the law, the administration is going to have to work with Congress to change some of it. But look, the, there has been a surge. I was down at the border not 10 days ago, and, and the system is overwhelmed. And so something's got to give. I think, I, you know, the president is understandably frustrated with the increasing numbers, but firing Nielsen isn't going to change that. Look, they were prosecuting every person who illegally crossed the border and then the system got overwhelmed, which is why they pulled back from that. But that this is they, there's no solution to this. Once they've pulled back from the prosecutions, the message to illegal migrants is, come on in, because we're you're now not going to get prosecuted until the law changes. So, any idea? I know you know her and you've worked with her. Any idea how she's feeling? She was there with the president on Friday. Sunday, she's out of a job. Do you think, or does she feel she got a fair shake here? Look, Gail, I think she's she's done her level best. I think she's worked tirelessly to to, you know, sort of implement the president's agenda. Um, but it's been a tough road. She's had a difficult 16 months. She's defended policies that she, she at times, I think, was questioning. And so, look, she served well. I think I think it's a relief for her to be able to get out and move on. And just a reminder, too, thank you, Fran, that the, the, the Secretary of Homeland Security deals with just more than just the border. Yeah. They deal with cyber threats, so many other things. So those are going to be important and come up certainly at any confirmation hearing. Fran, always good to have you.